Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Te apetece leer en inglés? Hoy tengo preparado The Complete Book of Farmyard Tales y vamos a leer la primera historia que se llama Pick Get Stuck. Bien, si tienes el libro, recuerda seguirlo mientras nosotros leemos. Y tengo una pregunta. A ver, ¿cómo se llama el cerdito y qué quiere decir su nombre? Soy Mónica, bienvenidos a Peque Books. Today we're reading the complete book of Farmyard Tales. The first story is called Pig Gets Stuck. This is Apple Tree Farm. This is Mrs. Boots, the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam, and a dog called Rusty. Woof woof! On the farm there are six pigs. The pigs live in a pen with a little house. The smallest pig is called Curly. It's time for breakfast. Miss Spit gives the pigs their breakfast. But Curly is so small he doesn't get any. Curly is hungry. He looks for something else to eat in the pen. And then he finds a little gap under the wire. Curly is out. He squeezes through the gap under the wire. He is out in the farmyard. He meets lots of other animals in the farmyard. Which breakfast would he like to eat? The cows? The sheep? The horses? The geese? Or the hens. Curly wants the hens breakfast. He thinks the hens breakfast look, looks good. He squeezes through the gap in the fence. Curly tries it. Mmm, the hens food is so good. He gobbles it all up. Yum, 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 yum. The hens are not pleased. Mrs. Boot sees Curly. Curly hears Mrs. Boot shouting at him. What are you doing in the hen run, Curly? Ay, ay, ay. He runs to the fence. He tries to squeeze through the gap. But he has eaten so much fresh breakfast, he is too fat. Curly is stuck. <coughs> Curly pushes and pushes, but he can't move. He is stuck in the fence. They all push. Mrs. Boot, Poppy and Sam all push Curly. He squeals and squeals. <coughs> His sides hurt. Curly, it's out. Then with a grunt, Curly pops through the fence. He's out! He's out! shouts Sam. He's safe now. Mrs. Boot picks up Curly. Poor little pig, she says, and she carries him back to the pig pen. Curly is happy. Tomorrow you shall have lots of breakfast, she says, and Curly was never ever hungry again. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué te ha parecido el cuento? A ver, ¿te has fijado cómo se llamaba el cerdito? ¡Exacto! Se llama Curly. ¿Y qué quiere decir Curly? Mm, ¿Sí? ¿Como esto que tengo yo en el pelo? ¡Rizado o rizos! ¡Muy bien! Recuerda, si te ha gustado la historia y te apetece comprarte el libro, yo siempre te invito a que lo hagas. Y no te olvides de suscribirte, de compartir el vídeo o de dejar un like. Muchas gracias por seguirnos y hasta el próximo cuento.